TLO, what's poppin'? We are on Twitch. We are live. But you can still leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post notification bells. Because by the time you see this, we won't be. Uh, YouTube, you see it behind me. This is a warning label. Take heed to it. You get me. Twitch.com. That's where you catch a live stream underscore the, the lip. The username is at the bottom of the screen. Dang, I didn't jab one. Anywho, um, don't forget, we do got Patreon. And we also got uh, merch. The links to everything is in the description below, man. This is a Troubled Land Archive. That's the name of the channel. And it's Escape Mount Joy. IRA Helicopter Escape. The Troubles documentaries. Hopefully they let me post it. If not, blame Brendy. Copyright disclaimer under Section 107 of the Copyright Act 1976. Allowance is made for fair use for purposes such as criticism, comment, news reporting, teaching, scholarship, and research. Fair use is a use permitted by copyright statute that might otherwise be infringing. Nonprofit, educational, or personal use tips the balance in favor of fair use. No copyright infringement intended. All rights belong to their respective owners. Talk to me. Explicit. Okay. The main man Jasmine, salute for the follow. <laughs> Clean intro. <laughs> Remember, owner of this channel, whoever you may be, if you see this documentary and, and it is me reacting to it, just hit me up very gently. You can leave a comment on your video, say, hey, take it down, and it'll be taken down. Mm. Technical difficulties, we're back. This is the correct one now. 1981 IRA escape. We should go to Cahan Kojala da Seal. As she instantly hits Blachana, we should go to Mel Hanagal or Stag Ockrish. Nero Fark, the Kaila Wacha. This isn't going over the wall, to the wall. And there may be one or two of us may get shot. We don't know. We had no big fears of the prison officers' resistance. I mean, it's a foolish person who'll uh, tackle a man with a gun. Hold on now. <laughs> okay, there's subtitles. On Captain 
Agus bilhéid dos na fósú slándalo, gur a bíl chuntúrtacha de vrigad vél fériste fí glas in the shaku. Wait, where is this? What language are they speaking? Well, the name sixty is Mashing Gunna a V Egg Arm Verica, August Visha Harave Harave Marafach Tour here, Hule Wheelbarrow Gumanic, the Harave Comoros of Visha. For a period of a year, eighteen months, the M sixty had been uh, frequently used by the IRA. It was used in uh, several operations prior to us uh, being caught that day. Vishamar Mar Mir Bolskrakt egg the public days Vishamar Mir Bolskrakt and Shin Egg uh the Mount Commerce Nura Fur uh Arm na Bratanya na Gunisha August Kultanadinia V Lutchalo. Agus an M sixty gang in Ishafanacht at a Jal Runvaru could in Tochter Fuho and a way a horror at Frisun War Romlinya and Arch Kuni Hanu. Cromanodum is a very historical Victorian prison. You can almost smell the steel atmosphere of the prison because it was that old. It was like an archaic uh, prison. So this was a prison prison. None of this fancy posh stuff we be seeing now with seven star reviews. This is a real prison. No matter what sounds you heard, it was echoed down the wind. Guard banging open a door with a key, crashing out the door shut, the grills opening up. When I think back, it's a kind of a sense of, of the, the depression, you know? I mean, pr pr prison is not a nice place. Bacchus does the Kimmy, Gurbin Bellach of Bell, Legan Chichim and Lishli Bidi, Agusiat Figlas, Nasul Yer Honyal and Ain Legach Sagor Slondolo. Akahot. So the best way to keep their spirits away was look for lack of security in certain spots. Okay. But each unlock the quarter. I was on the legal visit with my solicitor, and the screw came in from a gate that I didn't know it existed. And he said to me that I also had a personal visit, which I wasn't expecting. Vien shumra kwasje jri sitje se bri vlak jan frisun tjasna on klosh on shumra kwasje pasanta. Da vetach na kimi on klosh shaban chamach ni vacha kuiga slat ya jidet hen agus on bri vjeta. Is bon principal a gora slant all a priest on your bay, come out a hood ain't a shachtroch, a shell of ethicoch at an tivo mo, jan darosin. Ach, you're on chorusin a vime, so no not coos to glee. See, all it takes is one little piece of relaxation. The screw was the keys, the gates was on the inside of the visits. So if we could overpower them, we could take the keys and we could open the gates and get out ourselves. Goofy. I looked over the gates, I looked at the way it came out. At the end of the entry was the front gates of the jail. I realised here was a way out. He says, that's quite the front gate. Which at that particular time, I thought it was crazy. I said, what? You can't, you're going go, we're going to go out the front gate. Kegor be an priviata an ach gome a su le shan tlan da le steigne. Vi Campbell jan tuerim gobe an ach yer na chay a mach na hefigi a su le helo. No, that's right though. Nobody's expecting you to try to walk out the front gates. That's brazen. You know what I'm saying? That's brazen. Like you got to find an alternative route. Like you can't be that. You know what I'm saying? So it's smart to think like that. I don't condone it. Every actor be saying Cholus and Taija and Faishnish is Tawakti. Marneal is the Diniak Erlishi, they should rather curry Greek. So every time we get down there, you mentally surveyed the corridor. How many screws was going to be on the visits on the particular day? Uh, who had the keys? What type of screws there were? How many of us would be needed to take control? 
between the corridors, the visit room and the holding cell, there was a reception area, and that's where the PO, he was the principal officer. This PO. Has any, like, escape been escaped? Has anybody escaped recently? Because I would imagine security is overly tight now after they didn't got a helicopter first and foremost, then they didn't did this. Who was in charge of the whole block? That's the whole area where, where we had to take over. Honey, Pranilish and Blan Elihe, and in Shave Lodge of the Hev, Nijag Hochtuhin, with the three who can't talk to Kimmy as in Dunvaro. I guess we suck up a nish, Nahra Shacht and Rarijaku, the Bach the Yenna de Re de Midihar. Before they got transferred, this one? We were convicted. Another week, he was going to go through his calculator how many years he was going to give us. And that's when we knew that the following Friday, we would be on our way down to the hits blocks on the blanket protest. The hunger strike was already on. Four of our comrades had already died. We had one week to do the escape. <laughs> Yeah, when you got nothing to lose, you fighting for everything <laughs> at the end of the day. You get what I'm saying? That was deep. When you got nothing to lose, you fighting for everything. In this scenario, in an escape scenario, we got nothing to lose. Rather we, whether we make it out or we don't make it out, we serve in life. But if we make it out, we got everything to gain. Is Ron Giovere, Jahoja Nayara, Ken, Dalach, or Togunogoni, is Jach Sibrisum. Ach, we raw on the Shelevacum. I was Quinya Agri Eganochter, Lenin Lidori. How? Wait, go, wait. Ach, we raw on the Shelevacum. The two guns in their possession and the eight of them. I was Quinya Agri Eganochter, Lenin Lidori, Eganam Keno. Oh, okay. They all arrange meetings at the same time with the lawyers to get into the vis to, to get into that room. Okay. The weapons that were used on the escape were two small automatic 25s, a pistol that would fit into the palm of your hand, quite a, a powerful weapon at the same time. Agus Campbell among planalo, Pakisto govetvi block no kustjli a gaule forsa. Achkamach edi barger boha, la dala mologo hore na hefigi egen brivieta. So everything was ready. I had a moustache. I, I kept the moustache up until that morning, so I shaved it just before I went out. It was just the sense that I knew that we had to wear the uniform. It may draw the attention away from me. The next thing you know, a guard came in and he says, Joe, you've got a visit. I just remember that going down the wing and I had the gun in my boot. So when he was searching down, I would tighten myself up. So when he felt down the boot, he maybe just thought it was part of, part of my bone structure. But I was like, the sweat was running down my back because he may say, you have to take that boot off. He gets down there and he feels around the boot and he feels, and he feels around the other boot where the gun was. These security guards were that thick? Like, what are you, what are you like, what's happening right now? Bro, you searched this man, first and foremost. You let these dudes look at every piece of, every piece of direction you was walking y'all didn't clock them looking at y'all and seeing what was going on and getting the blueprints in their head or anything and then he stood up and he says okay good luck i mean right that's sad over at least we got the gun and we're on our way you're nervous and say but you have a job to do and that's what was important and after that, there are the adrenaline, all the rehearsals, you know, that inside your mind that I want to get out of here. Everybody was 
in position, ready to go. I was in with my solicitor. I told him that I had to go into the next legal visit to talk to some of the other lads. The solicitor was looking at me because I was talking about anything but the case. I looked into one of the cells where there was three of the, the other prisoners with the one solicitor and said to them, right, let's go. <laughs> look at the solicitor. Hey, the solicitor looking like, oh, okay, hold on, wait, wait. Well, actually, go ahead, because when y'all get caught, y'all gonna need to pay uh, even more at that rate. As they came out of the cell, I produced the weapon. Pete produced his weapons. We moved into positions. said this is an area operation. Everybody here is on their rest. Anybody resist, force will be used. What? They said this is an IRA operation. If anybody resists, force will be used. Is that I can rewind. That's fine. Anybody resist an area operation. Everybody here is on their rest. Anybody resist, force will be used. I think there was six holding cells, so we put all the guards in one. The other lads in this case, they were going to arrest other guards, they were going to open doors to secure the black. One of them arrived at the door and said, you have to come with me. And I said, no, I'm not going anywhere with you. And he then said, uh, Kieran, provisional IRA, you will be hurt. I said, well, if you're telling me I'm not going to be hurt, that's far enough, I'll go. But at that point, I had absolutely no idea what, what if anything was going on. And we were put into a, a large holding cell, which had other prisoners, other solicitors, and nobody knew what was happening. So it was all like chaotic. Even even when I look back at it, I can't precisely say who was where and where was what. It's just uh, at least figures walking by and guards tied up. It was like Trafalgar Square. On your asses! I'd say there was maybe seven or eight screws. I put them all in different cells, and within seconds, we had control of the end of the legal visits. Okay. And y'all put their uniforms on? Kijk er als smacht en is ik de chemie er een blok koortje drie. Ga hij die smachten al er een schoenbroek koortje de chemie schiewelte en wie boeltje lo. Ach, wie toer hem elle en een marger en wie in de bon. If the situation arose and we were forced to use the weapons, uh, we would use them. As I got close to him, standing off him a bit with the weapon, he tried to make a go for me. The skilly gunman, very jerrylish, very jerrylish like rock, where very on the sidery, August the pass is gacked on his jack, August very rod curhu away on tus. Okay, okay. So as planned out as you think this would have been, it sounds like it was not. It was just moving. Maybe it was like a chaotic, chaotic, what is the word I'm looking for? Like a chaotic calm about it? <laughs> I don't know. If we had a fire to shot at that stage, it's too early. Could very well have blew too loud. The operation. One of the lads hit him with a baton that had been taken off the screws. He was immobilized. To say the least. Then at one point, a prison warder was dragged in and dumped on the floor. He was bleeding. He seemed to be unconscious. I then thought, 
God, this is going to turn into some sort of hostage situation because I could never ever have envisaged that anybody could have escaped. Agus an bloc fwy na sianaf in a siacu, bi si an aam an piece of biacra jan eilu a chori gri. Agus gweed fiech di jan gae... Did I watch this? I didn't watch this particular one, but I feel like I've, like, maybe another, maybe something else. No, I wasn't. Gan bri wi at the yad, fi a rŵr jas ni kimi glesa mar vorgeri agus dili doed. So, Tony Sloan quickly got clothes off, so they said they were basically just a coat, a scarf, and a briefcase, and a pair of glasses, I believe. You gotta take the glasses. It completes the look. Everything went wrong because there was more guards coming under the block, which meant we had to tie up more guards. And then the bell would ring, which meant there was another guard and everybody had to hide, and I would... As that the door was locked, then somebody would jump out and grab the guard. And right in the middle of this, it was like something out of some film or a cartoon, the phone rang. Was there no surveillance, CCTV, or nothing in this? I looked at the phone, everybody looked at this phone, and you'd always see like on a cartoon when the phone shakes. That shop and everybody shop with it. Nobody knew what to do. What, if you lift the phone up, they're going to ask who's on the phone. Maybe you have to use a code. You got to answer it though. Or not. Someone may be coming down. We'll move quick now. You know, let's start to move out. That was like the third part of the escape, and that was walk across the courtyard and secure the first gate. We were um, pretending to escort this lawyer out across the courtyard. And I looked across, there must have been 15, 16 guards. There was a new shift of guards coming on. That was the longest walk for me, and I think it was only 25 yards, but it felt like it was like the mile. Egan Buinchisha, near Edger Nikimiha, Agus Bor Humlinger, Acheri Yatta Slondolo, Agus Nasaiduri Aramos, Natur Fade. Yeah, but like, that's, that, that's a lot. <laughs> Watchtowers, do they have snipers up there? Or, like, woo woo? And Kate Gata Abiyakra Akurfad, Kuslishen, Mar Fi and Barger Aron Yahrege, Fisher and Tavis G, then Gadashen. We had to convince that guard to open the door. He was asking for pass keys and code. Next time we're going to a few grinding bug hours ersen. They rolled a jana get a rehearsal, buller an alarm v jury lash. And I just said we need to get out. This house is this the solicitor's wife's. Uh, she's having a baby or something to get there. Just getting in the conversation. I just wanted him to open the door. So once I heard the click, I knew the gate was open. As that gate opened, the rest of us had moved up the entry and started moving the single file <laughs> right across the yard and one by one went into the gates. And that's when the whole, everything. See, these guards was moving pretty loose. Talking about, talking about there's codes and keys and all of this stuff. You at the gate having a laugh. Ha <laughs> ha. Yeah, his wife is pregnant. Ha ha ha. And you click it. Dummy, follow protocol. You get, you hear me? He went up there because the guards knew there was something wrong and it's out. Because everything is very, very quick. Is it a rat? Are they taking over the prison? Is it a protest? Is it an escape? The screws on the outside started to uh, make a move towards us. I produced a weapon. Again, this is an IRA, IRA operation. Uh, stay back or yell open fire. And they all. Stood to stay back. Fisher and Yeah, or Land Valley and Rudder by Yakra. I know. File Fridge could you in Erlock and Kid got the Oscars V Nahokra her and Tiev Sakus in an ish and Shin V Chakt or Okrahan Nangati Ella or Fud. 
And then we were out on the second last gate. And I, I just grabbed him by his uh, lapels. I said, give me that key. It's fucking true, You know, the images of, of, of this uh, middle-aged guard just holding on to this key, saying that he can't give me the key. They had to kind of wake up to the reality that that key was going to be in our hands. Yeah, what you mean I can't give it to you? Man, this ain't my life. You better go ahead and take this key, sir. <laughs> you have the firearm. I am just a... Uh... A warden of the state, or whatever you uh, I'm just a worker. Take it. But they can't the get far. The weapon was produced, the screw was uh, basically arrested, and. There is no way they could get far, though, because at, by the time they hit that gate or whatever, all the screws had known, and the alarm was rang, and. Regular police was called, probably, and you know what I'm saying? All of that stuff was done. So that means helicopters was in the air. Like, you're not getting away. Thank you're in the middle of no, oh, wait, this is the, this is Ireland. Um, so prisons out here, like most prisons, are in the middle of nowhere. So if you escape, you gotta, <laughs> you got you just gonna be a prisoner in a cornfield somewhere, and they go out there like you in a town almost, like you, you can get lost a little bit, kind of right. You got them to open the gate. So I think I seen uh, Robert putting the gun at all these guards because they were coming at us with buttons and stuff. I, just, I actually didn't have any time for it because I had to get this other key. And the only other gate was a gate that was actually on the Crumman Road and the screw was on this side again. I asked the guard for the, for the key. He wouldn't give it over. He, he actually fainted a bit. And as he fell, the keys went down with him and we were asking, what key is it, what key is it? We got that gate opened whilst the key was still strapped to the screw. I again turned and shouted at the screws. If you come any further, I'll open fire. Did you lock yourself in? I can see the gate sort of closing over. And I'm saying to myself, is that a snap, snap shut gate? But it was like a bit of slow motion sort of thing about getting to the gate, the grabbing it, the getting out. Once we opened the gate, the traffic, you could see the red cars, red buses, and I was like, my God, I couldn't believe it. The heard of Garo Shere Kahu Eddie Bargera, Ni Hoku Lishna Lookouts, the first fire of Ehu since the Tars, Ni Hoku Loskilu or who, where Dark Shere was Honic Shere Bargeri, Ectridge the Shivialty. We shall succor her, break out well finished, to go back to her early her park culture, a gore close chestna on Brisson. A Holoha is a fresh gatty and free soon usculture. We breed Arab with Jahujan are you seized the solar. Right, see what I'm saying? So we knew once we got out the front. People were already like alerted to what was going on. Yeah, at this we had point. to run about maybe 30, 40 yards, maybe. And I got there's a little small wall we get over, and that's where the two cars was. I tried to open it, the, the door wasn't open. That's when the cops in the army, I think, were, were all over us, and that's when the, the, the shooting, where everybody was shooting at each other. Two cops came to the wall and they immediately opened fire. The adrenaline was, was flying, and the while there was bullets, you know, Flying all over the place. That uh, was important to put a thorn fire. We're all like kind of huddled, huddled in together, and the cops were on the other side, and they were firing too. Because the bullets were flying everywhere. And as you're kind of ducking and weaving and trying to look over to see, is there somewhere we can get out of here? I knew that I couldn't get into the car, I knew that, that option was out. Neither of the cars? At that particular time, I just knew, here's me, I just knew that we were caught. What am I gonna do? I don't know what it was, instinct. I just put my hands up and said, Don't shoot! Don't shoot! Don't shoot! I'm a police officer. 
The policeman. And I can see the confusion in people's eyes. And once I seen somebody confused with her, that's when I ran. <laughs> Rark, Bedger, uh, Sarlaha, the Wild West, no Rodigan Marshin, the Pesic Skeeter and Car, August Garami Shedlo. Okay, so they got in one car, okay. Illish and true cigar, a Malaha Yelugu here, a real fetish day. A fear and Gugger, a Chehawishtak, a counter jeep shot. So now we're sitting in the middle of the Shanga Road going right where do we go and at that particular point uh, someone was coming out of the house to get into the car and we went happy days. Well, it's my car now. Give me the keys, go. He said Irish Republican Army, we're taking your car. And like to say it on the Shanka Road and the UVF uh, stronghold, I mean it actually didn't go down too well. So yeah, I would imagine it didn't go down too well. You in the ops area. You in your ops area, not mine. Or I don't got, I don't know nothing. You in your ops areas. We had to force the car off the person. The search for the ape. I mean, this live footage. Men centered on the Republican areas of West Belfast, where the security chiefs believe the wanted men are still in hiding. Come on, says that the eight men had escaped from Cromwell No Jail. So, as of right now, with three minutes left in this documentary, all eight of them, or uh, all eight of them, are on the run, fully escaped in vehicles. It's a big relief that the rest of the lads were, you know, had also made it. The thing was, when I think back of it, if that door had been open, I would have jumped in the back with maybe Angelo and Biggie McKee, and then we would have been all dead. So whatever the circumstances of why those back doors weren't open, probably saved all, all, their, all their lives. That's them in the bitches. I guess the Kimmy Skype had for the Karach, which he saw what she had. Honey, cost us called the course to a Nina Dodd. Wait, 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 I looked away, got them. I guess the Kimmy Skype had for the Karach, which he saw what she Hani kas os kord de kurste anine dar gien en ara sim nach berg ek ne hele hori am. Okay. So what the judge done was he he actually went ahead with the sentence and abstentia as they call it he sentenced us without us actually being in the court. Mr. Justice Hutton, as he then was, read out his judgment and then proceeded to sentence the people in their in their absence. To be sentenced in your absence or for a judge it's to insane. sentence what is basically an empty chair, I have never ever come across that. That is the only time. Yeah, I ain't never heard that either. That's just motivation to stay, <laughs> to not get caught, right? In, in my career as a solicitor that I have come across that. So it was a great day because the woman in celebration got me like a, a big steak with, with, with onions on it for the six o'clock news. And she got me a black Russian with ice in it, you know? Smear us a cup of tea, we got in the news. It told us what sentences would be given, the word Karen, what sentence we got. You, Robert Campbell, uh, sentenced you to life imprisonment with a recommendation that you serve no less than <coughs> 30 years. Dang. You would have to know <laughs> why, bro, on the couch eating good old dinner. The layout of the Crumlin Road prison, the security that was there, uh, you would have to know all that to appreciate what they actually did, the number of gates they get through out onto the Crumlin Road and then they get away. It's amazing. Kai said in the million day, a full of you on chorus, because they're in the boys, so she would share a mark and pray about them. Cinderella, appreciate the sub. Appreciate you. The resub. Despite the violence during the escape, no prison officers or police suffered long-term injuries. Seven of the escapes went into hiding in the south, but were rearrested under. Uh... So what about that one?
and I'm was flooded. And he got up out of there though. Dang. Alright. Very interesting. Very interesting. That's a good one. TLO, leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn your post. I'm good.